Welcome back to Brand New Sushi Life. In this episode, I want to show you the process on how I created this render. It's actually uh, 100 variations of a character. Uh, it's pretty abstract looking, all in this position, kind of like a bowing. Um, so yeah, let's see. This were created using Stable Diffusion 2.1 and there's something called Dev to Image instead of Image to Image um, it's actually using the Dev data uh, produced by Midas algorithm and by using the Dev it understand the character better so for example in this example we have head so it understand okay that could be where the eyes is, where the nose is, so you can add glasses, things like that. So for our character, of course, it's just like a like a human body. We can use the AI, Stable Diffusion 2.1, to use that dev image to generate unlimited variations. Um, so let me run this guy very quickly. So I already have this web UI automatic 1111 it's a UI for stable diffusion now I'm running it and if you have the default installations you actually need to enable the depth to image um, this is the step that I was using um, it was actually at github uh, under these conversations so you need to download this uh, checkpoint 512 dev trained uh, image and then download the config change the config name into this yaml and then place it in the, the model folder and then you run the stable diffusions hopefully this one runs because last time i was running it runs out of uh, it runs out of memory as for the character itself you can use anything any generic generic 3d model will work the one i was using was this make human character um, it's currently still alpha but it runs all right so let me show you very quickly this is the one that i was using so you can pose a character and then take a screenshot or a render from a certain angle and the idea is you can maybe reproject the result that's the AI generated from this into this character or you don't always need a character you can for example like a have like a room with like a dummy objects using boxes and you can actually use the depth data from that maybe from blender or just auto generated using the AI and then you you type like a text prompt and then you kind of doing this interpolations it's a yeah a lot of processing underneath but you you can end up with some ideas and concepts for what you want to create so let's see i have the web ui already running so i already picked this 512 dev ema and i want to try something Let's grab the last prompt that I was using. Cyberpunk, blah, 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 people, portrait. Yeah, we just need a reference model. I have, yeah, I have this character that I created earlier. Let's try drag and drop it here. This might take a while. Uh, I don't know. Let's make four variations and just run it I'm using 512 by 512 because my computer memory I'm using iMac M1 8 gigabyte not the most powerful but it will work oh yeah I forgot the seed I should have randomized the seed but just maybe just let this run and let's see how long this gonna take while it's doing its stuff in the background Maybe we can take a look at this character. So I have uh, geometry nodes underneath uh, doing its thing, its magic. Just the simple things that we 
did in the previous video yeah just uh, you know like I'm using geometry nodes to kind of make like a an island plates like a broke make this character a bit like a broken character and then yeah and you can post it whatever you like okay you can actually create something from scratch so once again I already have this install this is the make human add-on for blender what is it called mpfb preference mpfb make human this is still alpha this is version 2 um, yeah you can basically create a character from scratch whatever you like old young child baby and maybe old let's try old man muscle average maximum muscle let's create human delete the default cube okay we have a female character Let's uh, the age. Okay, this is just all like interpolations from baby to old. Yeah, let's try to create baby aliens. This is the the race: African Asians, Caucasians. I don't know. Just play around with this. arms you can make the arms longer or shorter but I think maybe make the hands bigger or something and the ears okay Where's the head? Heads, okay. Hmm. I want to have like larger baby head, but we're gonna we can use this. Uh, maybe save this very quickly. I think the baby doesn't have eyeballs. Alien baby. Anyway, we in order to post this character, you can bring it to Mixamo or just do it here. Add a rig. I think the one that works game engine rig. With game engine rig, you can quickly convert it to Rigify. Alien baby. And Rigify. And then we have this posable bones. By default, it's IK. I don't know how to change this to FK and yeah, maybe maybe it's there somewhere but anyhow you can post the baby whatever you like and then you use this reference the the idea is of course uh, the AI can understand the dev it's kind of predicting the dev so if you if you post the baby like this and whether you you take a render or just a screenshot of the baby you can you can just send it to stable diffusions and then tell it to reimagine this just hallucinate i like the word hallucinate so yeah, it's still gonna take around so it takes five minutes because I'm recording as well. It might, I might not have enough memory to do this. But in the meantime, we can post this a little bit better. Okay. At this point, I should have collected uh, some library of poses so I don't need to do this each time but I 
I don't need to s start from scratch all the time. I think this is the IK controller. This is the IK uh, pole vector. doesn't work okay I'm gonna make the head yeah bigger head this character doesn't have expression but you can actually change the expression using using the AI if you want to yeah it might be I might just use this So you can take this depth, or you can generate depth actually, and then use the depth inside stable diffusions. Um, I think we already have result just now. Depth to image, where is image to image? So these are some of the example. I took a photo of motorbike, and it understands the depth, and it generates some variation, some variation of that. Yeah, okay, the character waving, of course, from this. You can actually animate, you can animate this in 2D. But anyway, we have character waving, right? It took, it took a while, I mean, let me just interrupt this. And then just replace this what, with our character. I think it's, it's really, pretty good, actually. It understand human body pose and head and things like that. Convert image to JPEG. Drag and drop this into the web UI. And yeah, we have the baby character now. Let's create four. Let's create ten different variations and. generate see it creates a second second look yeah see because I interrupt the process it's it hasn't finished but these are some of the example this is not the only result that you can get uh, this might have certain look because of the prompt, the prompt itself. Some of the keywords will affect the final result. Like I could go to Lexica and find a different look and try that, or we can just type our own prompt. Character with armor or mecha design like Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Power Rangers is mostly generic looking. It's not 100% like Power Rangers, but it's a, it's a pretty good start. Cyber Cyberpunk. That keyword is always leads you somewhere cyberpunk mecha let's see yeah it's gonna take me like six minutes to generate image but I think I explained pretty much what I want to say uh, I will try to make 100 variations of this baby and then gonna make another video just to show you the result. 
Uh, but yeah, so that's basically the whole process. You create a pose in Blender using 3D model, like generic looking character is okay. You can always change the look of the character using Dev to Image and Stable Diffusion too. So yeah, try, <laughs> give it a try if your computer can handle this. Um, or you can use maybe Dream Studio. In the future, we, we can, we actually have Dream Texture add-on for Blender by Carson Country that can do pretty much the same thing. So you don't need to have, you don't need to install the web UI. It seems like a lot of steps. It is actually in order to get something that's really good. There's a little bit of uh, nerdy stuff that you need to do. All right, so thanks again for tuning in.